Good morning, Hornet Nation. Welcome to the Daily Buzz. I'm Joe Hutzler. Today is Tuesday, September 11th, 2018, and here's what the buzz is all about this morning. This is Lawrence Stanford before the game. This is Lawrence Stanford during the game. Just a little bit of a look at what she is all about. All business, but she can get fired up, and she's a great competitor on the floor. So much so that in just her junior season, she has eclipsed the 1,000 digs mark, and yesterday we had a chance to talk to her about choosing that position and being able to just dive near the floor, and also what she and her team can do to improve early on in 2018. Um, it kind of came naturally. Like, I was a gymnast before, so like, Diving is like kind of second nature, right. so it was just came easily. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I get a lot of bruises. <laughs> so my uh, dad couldn't go to the tournament, and he was watching the live stats um, online, and he ended up texting me as it happened, and I saw it after the game, That's cool. like after both games. I didn't really think about it before my career here, but definitely like going into this season, I wanted to hit a thousand and then beyond. So ideally, I'd like to be number one in the school for digs, but whatever gets my team the most wins would be best for me. So we're definitely like focusing on like finishing. Like we do really well throughout the game and then we just can't finish. So like we just have to fine tune certain things and I think we'll be there. Let's move on to some action from yesterday. We did have one team on the golf course in a probably wet afternoon for Lynchburg Golf, the Green Turtle Invitational. Just one day, day one was canceled on Sunday, and Lynchburg finished seventh. First career top five finish for Branson Terrell and also Carter Old taking uh, his place in the top 20. Let's move on to the rest of the week, and that begins with Wednesday at 2 p.m. Again, this is a time change. Men's soccer was scheduled to play later in the day at 4. They're going to move it back to 2 o'clock against Mary Washington. Two undefeated teams heading into this week from Fredericksburg. Then, still staying at Mary Washington, Lynchburg Field Hockey will take to the field after men's soccer exits. That will be at Wednesday at 5 p.m. And then two hours later, indoors, Lynchburg Volleyball at, you guessed it, Mary Washington, 7 o'clock. We will be there collecting videos and photos for you. We'll have a report from Mary Washington for you to check out Thursday morning here on the Daily Buzz. All right, let's move on to campus events. We have three of them to get to today, and this one is yummy. Free popcorn and popsicles. Why? Because that's about all the reason that we got. Three to five o'clock today uh, on the second floor of Drysdale. Just stop by and see your favorite intramural coordinator, Steve Bradney, for popcorn and popsicles. Also, it's brown bag lunchtime. This time it is later in the day, 4.30 to 5.30. I get the Flynn Multicultural Center uh, once again. And our last campus event is just giving you information on Hurricane Florence. It is coming. It will bring a lot of rain, a lot of wind, but we do not know exactly what we're doing here on campus just yet. So yesterday, emails were sent out to advise you as students and faculty and staff what to do Download the LiveSafe app for iOS or Android. I have it on my phone. It's a ter terrific app for you to use, not just in times like this, but in other times as well. Uh, and you'll get immediate notifications telling you exactly what's going on here on campus. Uh, be aware that the roads may be flooded. Do not use the trails near College Lake. Yes, the lake has been drained, but certainly still treacherous once the rain comes down. And if you're on the ground floor of any building, please move your items to the second floor and maybe even yourself if you have a plan to do that. More information will come on Wednesday, so be, be sure to check out your emails for that. All right, uh, 17 years ago today, a fateful event happened in our nation's history, and we just we do not want to get by through the show without saying that we'll never forget what happened, the sacrifices that were made, the lives that were lost. Uh, we'll never forget 9-11. A lot of our student athletes certainly don't remember it. I was just a young kid myself, but as a nation, not something you should ever forget, always remembering what happened on that day and what made us resilient in that time. And we can use that, of course, moving forward. That's going to do it for us here on The Daily Buzz. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Until then, remember, it's a great day to be a Hornet, and we are one nation.